it was like any other day. We were on an evening safari, but something felt different. And what happened next changed my life forever. My name is Charles Jung, and I'm a big cat specialist, a wildlife photographer, and a cinematographer. I was 22 when I encountered my first leopard. It was a father and a son, both sizing each other up for territory. Just as we were heading back to leave, and as the sun was setting, we saw them moving towards each other. The next morning, we returned to the same spot to see what happened. And there he was, the young leopard, sitting on a fallen log as if it was his throne. He had a huge scar across his face, and that's when we named him Scarface. Though Scarface was the present and my future, my past was what triggered this passion towards wildlife. Kabini is only four hours away from Bangalore, but it's a world away from a city life. With its dense forests, tall and twisted trees, perennial streams and steep valleys, Nagarole National Park is one of the few places on earth where you can encounter both big cats and magnificent tuskers in their natural environment. So when I was very, very young and my parents were building their first wildlife resort, because I was too young to be left alone in the city, my father um, and my mother raised me in a little stone cottage they built in 1988. I had no friends, I had no social life back then. From, I'd say, two months to when I was four, I'd see this elephant called Lakshmi every day. And we built a very, very strong bond. It's been, I think, eight to nine years now since I've met Lakshmi. Word is, Lakshmi is back, and today is reunion day. Meeting Lakshmi was an emotionally powerful moment in my life. Having not seen her, you know, just shows how life can pass you by. While exploring the forest, I realized how bad the situation was between man and animal. And that's why we came up with BCRTI, the Buffer Conflict Resolution Trust of India. That trust mainly dealt with teaching the locals how important it was to conserve wildlife, teaching them how ecotourism is a tool for conservation. We have Today, Madhav Gauda has risen through the ranks from an agriculturist who absolutely detested wildlife to now being the head naturalist at our camp and also being a head accountant. The black panther is one of the world's most elusive and enigmatic animals. He is not a species, he is a genetic mutation. It is one of the world's most difficult animals to track and in this forest which is 643 square kilometers there is only one panther. The black panther has taught me to never stop discovery and through him we've discovered so much of the forest and its flora and fauna. It's an ode to these animals that have taught me to live in the moment because they have no concept of time as they live in the moment and I get my inspiration from capturing those moments. <laughs>